Hello everybody. I wanted to take a minute. We had a package come in, put a smile on your face. And episode of today is buck converters. We got one special one. We got another one. And another package. So let's get that out of here. So in here we've got a bunch of them. We bought a multi-pack. Comes with one little board and a heat sink for each board and there's a bunch of different boards in here and then in here is four of these guys right well two now I took two out and put them on these 3d printed sleds that we have and what it does is it takes um, 9 to 36 volts in and it gives you two 5 volts out right and I have a switch here as well so you can turn on and off all of this and not drain the battery out same over here um, the fuse is on the outside rather than being in here and there's a switch right here to turn it on and off and over here you can see the switch or the fuse is on the inside I have a switch right here so but uh, those have two buck converters Then we can open this guy up real quick and show you this guy. This one is also a 9 to 6 volts, or 9 to 36 volts. Look at this one. Look at this fanciness. I just pushed it down on itself when I was opening it. So over here, you have your power in, and looks like more power in, or power out. And then over here, you have four USB, right? And then you got this aluminum case, which helps for heat transference. Why must you ask? Because this lets you run five amps, right? So I can run five amps out on this all day long and do one or two amps across each of these. So I could power four one to two amp devices right because some of these devices like this require an amp amp and a half each per device and these little buck converters over here or these other ones this other one only had one two outputs and if you're trying to hook up four devices you need more um, I picked up these ones and I'm trying to show you wrong and why I had these in one in my hand Here's what it looks like. And for any electronics wizards out there, do you see what's wrong with this picture? If you can see this MOSFET over here got blown up. Why do you see this is black and this is black? It shouldn't be like that. Somebody screwed up and wired it up backwards and then hooked it up and tested it. And the MOSFET burned up right in front of my eyes. It's fun to watch, terrible, because now we just wasted this electronics. Um, we can take the MOSFET off and so desolder and put a new one on there, but who has those handy? I don't at the moment. Um, but so now this is junk. But um, that's, what, that's what's in this package. And you can see here, this is um, the heat sink is not put on because I blew up the MOSFET. Okay. Over here is a battery with one of these hooked up. This one has an LCD display and a, a potentiometer. So that way you can change and adjust the voltage to what to your specific needs. These other ones have, um, like this one, this one has a display on it as well and has a USB out. And I'll let you see the voltage going through it. Um, there are other ones you can get that are like this. Sorry about the hot glue, right? And with cables on it, and they still have USB out. And this one does one amp on one and three amps on the others. But all it is is a little board like this with some wires sticking out of it inside of a plastic case. So if you know how to solder and you know how to make wires, you don't need to waste all your money on some of these more expensive things. You can just get 
the actual components you need and solder some wires to it. And that's what today's episode was about. I wanted to explain to you guys um, some different buck converters out there. Like this brings, so if you got 12 volts and you need 5 volts, you can get things like this or things like this that let you hook up to your batteries and adjust the voltage. Right? So if you have an 18 volt or a 12 volt battery, right? Let's say even a 24 volt battery. You can't hook 5 volts, you can't get 5 volts out of these directly, right? But if you have a little adapter, right, and you take your adapter, and you put it on the battery, and you have a switch, and you turn the switch on, you can power and get and reduce the regulate, get the regulated voltage you're looking for. We are looking for voltage for this box that we're making, right, and to upgrade the upgrade of this right and if we want four different two amp five volt outlets we need the right buck converter and the buck converter is in this along with our 3d printed sled with the fuse right like this will go inside of this to give us all of our outputs right and then you have a switch on here to turn everything on and off and then you can use production ready batteries that you already have right and you can use your charging stations that you already have for these and you just take these off and charge them and hot swap them as needed and if you want to change the battery all you have to do is change the mounting plate and all the electronics all the hardware stays the same you just need the different interface for your different battery. I plan to overcome that by putting an external plug in here to run external things and be able to change that. But the meat and the bones is right here. We have an adapter, right? We can go buy the commercially available one off the shelf. It only has one five volt output. Other than that, it'd be fantastic. And then it's answer is terrible, right? But if we get take this with our wires out, hook them up to the buck converter we just got now we have four one amp outs or two amp outs right and now we can power not only the headphones but maybe a computer and maybe a NAS device and maybe have leftover power to charge a phone or charge a camera or a camcorder other things as needed all from one little device right now I did bring it over here I said I'm down apologize so here's the sled we are using and you'll see over here we have one of those other buck converters added alongside of the two USB so we have two USBs here plus this converter here with two wires coming out and what may you ask why is there two so we have two different inverters over here and we have two different inverters on this one this one is not glued on it's just it's just wired next to it for now and that is so we can get 12 volts. So this gives us 12 volts out here and two 5 volts, right? And so we can take the extra inverter as well and get different power. So that gives us our 12 volts that's needed for the inverter here. So now that we got 12 volts and 5 volts, we can power all of these devices all at one time from one battery. We have multiple of these batteries multiple of these batteries we can change them out as needed hot swap right and as we need the device we can set it down put it on the shelf hang it on the wall pick it up take it with us we have everything we need ready to go so with that being said right it's time to dismantle this and cut all this hot glue i put all over it for some reason right so that way we can pop her off I wanted to do this on camera and show you guys, right? But maybe, so there we go. We broke her free, right? And now look at 
that all comes up. And now we can pull all the wires out of this and hook this in the trash, or use it for measurements. And then, with a little bit of magical hook and latch, right? We take our hook and latch, put some on this side, and put some on this side right here, right? We now have our device, right? Add a stand or a platform for our favorite music device, right? And we got our storage cables right here, or storage spot for our cables for extra ones. Cable hook up in the back. All ready to go. So yeah, today's episode was about getting the power we needed on the sled and the buck converters that came in the mail. We wanted to take a minute and show you guys the fact that with this 3D printed sled and fuse upgrade, right, and a couple inverters and a big beefy inverter, we're going to be able to squeeze out a bunch of power juice that we can utilize from these batteries across our different platforms and help us charge our equipment while we're out in the field working. So if you guys that found it informative, hope you guys enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up or something. Let me know. Give me some comments on the bottom. Um, look forward to more to come. As we get this wrapped up, I still need to get it painted. Right, and fix fix everything. Um, it, it does look good on camera, maybe, but um, this isn't a final coat or cleared. It's just, it's prepped ready to be painted. How about that? Even though there's two cans of spray paint on it. But it's where we're at today. The buck converters are in. We're able to now take and squeeze the watt hours out of our precious batteries to use on whatever projects we want. Right? What do you need built? Do you need something built? That's what we're here for. If you need something built and want us to build something for you, let us know. If this gave you any inspiration to build something, I hope it has. Right? Because the sky is unlimited. I hope hope you guys got something for it. Get out there. Get building. It's time to do something. Be productive. Get something done. Let me know what you got done. What are you building? Right? Let us know in the, just in the comments. I appreciate your time. Thank you guys for watching.